boom, boom, boom. Yo, what's up, everyone? Okay, that was terrible. But anyway, yo, what's up, everybody? Wine and the Grasshopper here, back today with another video. Today, we're going to be playing some more Half Life 2, Episode 2. Last episode, we we're fighting through the Battle of Hellfire. We got a cool cart, and that's basically it, really. <laughs> Oh, I gotta find pieces of a ladder. Shit. Oh. Not. What the fuck do I do, man? Got no idea. about this guys anyway how you all doing today I'm pretty good how are the kids how's your family how your friends how's the holiday how's work how's uh how's your wives how's your girlfriend how's your partner that's basically it that's all I can come up with man all right I'm up to the part I'm up to the part don't worry I'm up to the part 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 Rocket launcher. That'll come in handy. I guess they do nothing. I guess they're just alert thing in the jigs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
something on the radar. Mind if I wait in the car? Nope. Uh. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. over here. Do we go have do we have to go all the way? All right, well, I guess we're going all the way. Anything in here? <gasps> Yay! This could be combine handiwork. Hard to be sure. There's so many ways to die out here. Yeah. Not wrong. Not wrong. Insanities I can think of. This place must have been nice once. I wonder how long it's been since anyone stayed here. Come on, get inside! <laughs> 
One more, I think. Well, 
let's find the power supply for this force field. Yeah, let's follow the line. Come on, I don't want to go all the way back up there. There's the power source for the shields. What? Huh. They haven't skimped on security either. Let me see if I can disable the shields and get you closer to the reactor. Alright. Okay, it looks like I can open them from here, but I won't be able to come in with you. Right. Here goes. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. This but, thing's fried. Alright. Why don't I get watch outside and disable the power cell? We've had enough surprises for one day.
Yes, I did it. That should have done it. Let's go see if the force field's down. Where are you at? Let's hope there's no more combine between here and White Forest. Hopefully. Alright, let's run back. I'm getting tired of this. Too old! Is done. Let's get out of here. Uh oh, the radar. Uh -oh. sounds like there's more combine. Doesn't sound good. Over there! I see an antenna! Huh, I think that's White Forest. Well, we're close enough to make it the rest of the way on foot if we have to. Alright. I'll park the car somewhere. I'll park it over there. Wake up, dog. Please. <laughs> oh, You're all right. You had me worried there. Everything working all right? Good. You all right down there? We're fine. This dog okay? Better now. We've been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there. You can't miss it. All right, thanks. Okay, let's go. Come on, Gordon, get the car and we'll challenge the dog to a race. All right. Good boy. Looks like 
Jack, we need your help again. Would you mind? Yeah, dog. Come on. Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. Race you to the base. <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Well, Gordon, White Forest. Yay. We made it. Thanks, guys. Safe at last. Thanks, dog. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, but whoever you are. Hey, man. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Hey, guys. Yay. Bonnie gonna be here? Can't wait, man. Come on, Bonnie. I want to see Bonnie. I'll meet you fine. Alex! Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Uh... Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we, uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo 1 access unit, right through here. Shall we? I don't feel anything Freedom. anymore. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. I wanna, I wanna do something. You and me both. <laughs> what now? This oh no, what's that? Now, now what? Just another false alarm in the okay, secondary dog. silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. Okay. So, have you ever used an AR-2 before? Oh, I love it. AR-2? No. Now, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. Well, see, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was so do you know what the alternative fire method does on the AR-2? It kills hunters. How did you city folk kill hunters? We sure as hell didn't use guns. We would just wrestle hunters to the ground with our bare hands. Okay. I used to kill 10, 20 a day. Good for you, Just man. using my fists. All right. So when you're out in the field, you're going to be punching hunters? Yeah, that's in the not field. Good idea, man. I'm not going out in the field. I'm a radio operator. <sighs> that's it. Leave. You don't need to be here, and I'm not going to continue the lesson until you leave. I'm staying right here. I am serious. Leave. Yeah, I gotta leave. I'm not going to continue until you leave. No time now, Doc. Okay. Go on without us. We got stuff to do. Okay. What about you? Hey, Doc. Time for that later. What about you, man? Hey, man. You good? Need help over there? Nine. 
Wait, what do you make? Eh, you got a mana. So. I need to find Barney. Where's Barney? Not this couple again. Is she still crying? Fucking hell. Oh. Can't go in there. Uh. Yay! Hi, man! Hey! Gordon! Man, you made it! Dad! Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. Yeah. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. Yes. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. Okay. You'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. Oh, you? Winston! This way, Gordon. Hey, come on. The way he and Magnuson have been going at you they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> Some things never change. Winston, I thought you were dead. I thought Winston was dead. I thought you died, Winston. You liar. Remember in the first half, I mean, no, uh, Half-Life. Half-Life 2, the, the very beginning? Yeah, he died. You die, man, and you're alive. I'm glad to see you. A little busy right now, Doc. Okay, I'll, I'll continue. You continue watching your TV. All right, I'm coming, guys. Just gonna talk to him. Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for sure. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one Strider to destroy our rocket, but we're ready for it. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. Hi, Lamar. Don't worry, Izzy. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I yeah. see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, all right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red car. Good grief. I only meant they might... I know, man. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet Good you've been day. carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? Yeah. From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Uh, what next? A parade of constant interruption. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> Folks, alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. All right. Don't leave without Freeman. me. Oh. Bye then. Oh my Blast God. doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. 
All right, now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. The situation's not going to investigate itself. Shut up, asshole. I'm trying to figure it out. I gotta figure this out. Because he's just gonna scream at me, man. Alright, I'm fast forwarding, forwarding this uh, guy. Oh my god, not that bad. Hey, Christ. Sorry, it's nearly Christmas time. Sorry, Jesus. Oh, it's next to him. Oh, what's the whole point of coming up there? Alright, see what we're dealing with. Yeah. Attention personnel, this is Dr. Magnuson. Since the secondary silo staff seem incapable of solving their little crow problem, you will be happy to hear we have put the popular Dr. Freeman on the job. We all look forward to his remedy, and I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience. Right, this guy's great, man. This is dumbasses, we fry. That it. The f is that a Vortigon in a coat? I'm not even gonna ask. Enough. Further or unauthorized use of emergency override can be dealt with. He's a dramatic. Silo can be reached through here. I gotta do something, man. I gotta 
That guy just got killed right in the fuck of me. The fuck. The fuck. The fuck. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I have a sense. I've got to help them. They need me. Uh oh, oh. I'm going around in circles, and I'm not liking this at all. Is this the final battle or what? Do I need to go up? I think I need to go up. I don't want more of that shit.
Wasting this is YouTube's fault. Alright, went through there. Oh my god, there was a ladder the whole time. I could have gone into is anyone still alive in there? Okay, I'm coming. I'm almost there. Don't worry.
I repeat, there has been a breach of the secondary silo by way of the overhead launch doors. Copy that. I trust you to seal the silo doors.
it's over. Yeah, I almost died a we couple of times. We couldn't get in until you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Yeah, I'm too young to die, man. man. I better let my dad know you're all right. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. Alright. The Freeman must follow. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. Uh, but he wouldn't tell me why. Go to find Bonnie. I'm fairly sure I pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact, or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work, uh, if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short. We may have been spotted. Never have let him go. There was no sign. Why? Wait a moment. There's something else here. What? <gasps> it's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Has Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier wave. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure that... I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are yeah, you? Yeah, we will. Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, Eli? I can't. I can't let it happen. Not it's not gonna happen again, you are. What's that? Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. What the fuck? It's okay, just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? That's something. Actually, I was. Goody one? Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. There you are. It's happening again. 
Unforeseen consequences. I'll sit down with you, man. <laughs> the last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. Yeah, when he brought in that crystal, I knew I... What crystal? I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. God. Damn it. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. I know. Gordon. There's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance of, um... Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change the plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. It's all right, honey. Well, Freeman, I believe I found the perfect use for you. Thanks. Follow me, quickly. Okay. Uh, we'll talk later. All right. I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right. You two have fun. Have a nice talk. <laughs> Careful, Eli. Did he have panic attacks or something? Freeman, Striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. All right. We don't dare launch until all Striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. Thanks, man. We call it the Magnuson device. Oh, Not of my course. chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What have you said? Now what it is is a sort of sticky bomb, although cleverer than that makes it sound. From yeah. your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. All right. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. As you can see, the Magnusons are fragile. They will disintegrate immediately if they miss their target. Good. Now, take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets no. a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Of now, course. let's move on to a more challenging task. Right. Uriah. Send the target to the far end of the rails. Very well, Freeman. Try it now. Magnificent device, isn't it? It is, kind of. I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. I'm ready. I don't want to do this anymore. Had enough? Yeah. Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Mm -hmm. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my Magnusons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Oh, 
Was he that guy? Oh, shit. Taking a few liberties with your car. Okay. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Oh, thanks, man. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Yeah. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. Yep. No need to thank me. Thanks. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gangs up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. I swear to God, if Barney's not Good there, luck out there, I'm gonna flip shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this episode right here, so I'll see you all next episode. Bye bye.